Hi, I'm Nathan and I like to do stuff. Today, we're doing project three of the Green Energy Snap Circuit Kit. Let's get into it. So, there, there's the solar panel and it is supposed to go on a stand, but we have our artificial light that is adjustable so we don't need the stand. We'll put the solar panel on last. Time to put M6 down. We're gonna put it from C4 to E4. Next, we have three two snap wires. We're gonna put one from C5 to D5, one from, from C4 to C5, and then one from from D5 to D6, connecting the battery and the meter together. Next, we have a three snap wire. We're gonna put that connecting the negative port of M6 to the negative port of the battery. Then, we have the solar panel, last. So, you would put the stand right here, but since we're not using the stand, I'm gonna put it closest to the artificial light, right in the corner, the bottom corner. Next, we have one red and one black jump wire. First, let's connect the red of the red to the positive side of the meter to and the positive side of the soul. Next, let's connect the black one to the negative side of the meter to the negative side of the solar panel. We're done. Let me show you how this works. Today we're gonna bring in our trusty Fluke 101 meter and we're gonna set it on DC volts. This is how we are gonna measure it. You get your red lead and your black lead. Next, you turn on the light. Then, so we're gonna put the red on the positive and the black on the negative. Make sure your light, your light is turned on and then check the voltage. We have 3.2 volts. The solar panel is producing 3.2 volts from the light. And the 3.2 volts go through the M6 and then they go into the battery, trickle charging the battery. That means lots of 3.2 volts for a long period of time. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put our positive and we're gonna put it over to the positive side of the M6 and we should still get 3.2 volts. Yes, 3.2 volts. Then we're gonna take the red and we're gonna put it right here on the battery and we should get the same thing, 3.2 volts. And now you take the black and you put the black on top of the battery's negative side and we should get the same thing. 3.2 volts. Hey, this project is done. Cool. Thank you for staying for the end of to the end of the video. S since you did, I'm going to give you some bonus content. Get me a give me a second to say it. today's bonus content. I'm gonna show you how much volts we get at different light settings. 
first, we're gonna start with the low setting. On the M6, we have 2.5 volts. On the Fluke 101, we have 2.5 volts. Next, we do the same with medium setting. All right, we're at the medium light setting. Let's go. On, on the M6, we have 4.5 volts. On the Fluke 101, we have 5.1. Well, the Fluke's a little bit more accurate. Maybe that's what it is. Next, we have the high setting. I don't think you put it on there. The high setting produces more than five volts, which means the M6 can't read it. Let's go straight to the flute, 101. And, and I was right. We have 5.9 volts, and the meter can only read anything below five volts. I was right. Oh, I guess we're done. If you really like this video, please go and check out all of our other videos. There's a lot. And uh, until then, I'll see you later. Bye.